Hello, Starlet Souls. So, um, I'm in my hometown right now. And I thought maybe I would do a vlog of like, look where I'm from. <laughs> um, but it's pouring rain. So it might have to be a vlog from inside the car. So we're gonna see how this goes. I'm gonna attempt it. If it doesn't work out, then I'll refilm it like in the spring or something when I come back. I have a lot of friends that still live here. So um, yeah, so I'm leaving my friend's house right now and we're gonna try and leave the phone there. And if it falls, I'm sorry, I'm sorry if you fall. Okay, so the phone keeps falling. So I'm like pulling up to the arena right now. So it's a little bumpy. I'm just gonna like pull in over here. I don't really feel the need to get out of the car for this one. Um, but this was the, our old arena. It's a community center now. Um, this is where we would have like all of our stag and does in our small town. The town that I'm in right now, it's maybe like 5,000 people, well, maybe a little bit less. Um, but yeah, this is the arena that I had my first job at when I was 14 years old. I worked in the concession stand and that's where like you sell the food. And yeah, all my friends would come to like the junior C hockey games and I'd be like, yeah guys, I have the in on all the snacks. Like poutine, hamburger, pizza, chocolate bars, five cent candy, whatever you want, I got you. And yeah, it was a really fun job though. <laughs> and then there was one summer when um, I worked at a day camp here. That was for the summer, because I worked for the town, like for the township. Um. But yeah, this is the old arena. I'm probably gonna bring you to the new arena because it's near where I lived. Um, so let's move on because there's really nothing to look at here. Like behind me, there's like a track and a baseball diamond and you can't see really. But there's really nothing to see here. So let's move on. Okay, so I literally just did this and I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. So we're gonna do this again. Um, this is, okay, that's my old school. It's my Catholic elementary school. And this was the church that we went to, um, the Catholic church called St. Mary's. And it was right next to my school. So every Friday we had to go to walk to the church to go to mass. And it didn't quite look this big. They added this addition later on here. Um, but the school's literally right there. See where I can park, and I'm gonna do that. Oh, I can park right here. This is the park and the pool, the public pool we would all go to. So I'm gonna get out and walk around. It is raining really bad right now. Not really bad, but so this is like uh, one of our main parks in town. It's a popular park because it's right across from my school. Where's my car? <laughs> And, um, oh, I guess while I'm here, okay, so this is our water tower. <laughs> we are known for our water tower because it says, hi, healthy, happy. <laughs> um, altitude, 1,407 feet. So we are that many feet above sea level, which makes us, I think, uh, like the highest above sea level, the highest town. So... That's like our claim to fame <laughs> as a small town, but they've recently tried to take the high, healthy, happy out of our like town slogan and everyone's getting mad about it and wants it to go back. This is the pool where I failed maroon swimming lessons and I never did swimming lessons again because I was so defeated. And also I felt like the instructor didn't like me because I did it right and it was like a what's the backwards the backwards swim I don't know because I failed and yeah anyway he said I didn't do it right it looks really run down and sad it's probably because they didn't fill it this summer 
jumped off those diving boards a lot, a lot, a lot. Got like a mural. So I want to see, okay, right over there in front of that house. <clears throat> that is when, when I was like 10, I got pulled over. I was coming to school and I was like, I would come up this street because I lived like down there, way across the city or across the town. But um, I was coming up on my bike and I wasn't wearing my bike helmet. And there was a cop sitting right here in his car. And it was like bike safety week or something like that. And we had had like police officers at our school that week like telling us the importance of wearing a bike helmet. <laughs> and I was a rebel child. <laughs> so I didn't wear my bike helmet. <laughs> and the cop was waiting there for, for us or for whoever wasn't wearing the helmet. And he literally, like, before the school bell rang, he pulled me over on my bike, like, 10 years old. And he told me about the importance of wearing a hat. Obviously, he wasn't going to write me a ticket or anything, but it was super embarrassing because all of my classmates were watching. See how close that is? So, he lets me go on my way. And I'm, like, so embarrassed. And I bike the rest of the way, like, down the street here to school. And... There was like a branch on the road and I went over it on my bike and I fell off my bike. <laughs> it was really embarrassing and um, I think only like one or two friends came to ask if I was okay. But yeah. <laughs> Good time. So I'm just gonna go. This was completely different. Like the main entrance was here. <clears throat> It was like right here. So this is just the side now. My phone is getting so rained on. I don't think I'm gonna go around because it's really cold and rainy. But it's really nice. Look at all the fall trees. So pretty. So it's called Mount Forest. It's a pretty little town name. And look at those trees. That is now the front of the school. But again, it was way, way different when I went here. So, um, yeah. Okay, let's go somewhere else on our little small town adventure. Let's do it. Okay, so the next place that we are going is, we're going to go downtown, I think. Yeah, we'll go downtown and I'll show you where I lived at one point when my parents moved out of our house when I was 18. We moved to this place I am taking you now. This was Becker's. Anyone remember Becker's convenience stores? It is now nothing. This was like the poppin' place to be because it was Becker's and then next to it was Pizza Delight and like half my friends worked at Pizza Delight so everyone was always hanging out at this corner coming into town. I'll try and tape and hopefully I don't get pulled over. There's not a lot of cop here, cops here. There's like OPP, like the provincial cops, but so this is our very dead main street right now. It is Sunday and it's raining, so I kind of expected that. <laughs> We would cruise down this strip so many times in like a Friday night. So I'm gonna pull up up here. Actually, that store right there, that um, gray building, my dad owns. My dad's friend, best friend, owns that store. Still works in this town. 
Okay, so that was the dollar store, but this is what I wanted to show you. So <clears throat> this alley, my parents owned these two storefronts here, Sherry's on Main and the Eco Den, but it wasn't the Eco Den, it was something called the Train Cellar. And they store, they sold like model trains. Um, it was a few things. We, when we first bought it, it was a hardware store and we took over the hardware store and then we went out of business and um, yeah, anyway, so upstairs on the left side above the Eco Den, there are, window up, there are three apartments and my parents lived in like the, the farthest back apartment and they let me stay in the front one. And so in between us, there was like a small middle apartment. And so my place was like where we would go to pre-party and drink. Is there a cat in the window? No, there's not. Um, so we called ourselves the Alley Rats because we lived, I lived on Main Street in an alley. <laughs> and all my friends would drink. And I kind of want to see, like my dad put our last name in the brick back there. I don't know if it's still there. I kind of want to go see. Okay, let's go see. It's gone. They took the pad out. It was right here. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's gone. That's crazy. Okay. So I'm going to take you now to the house and street that I grew up on. And I'll show you like all around that area. There's like a few things there that I could show you. And then I think we'll conclude the video because I have a two hour drive home.
and then this is the way that I would go to school. So I'll take you um, on the way to my old house. I'll take you the way that I would go from like from school, the way that I would go home. And I would read on my way home. I would walk and read. Couldn't get enough of that sweet valley. Okay, so this is leaving the town. This was Murphy's Park. There's like a river here, the Soggy River. But Murphy's Park had a huge toboggan hill that we would always go tobogganing. My dad would take us in the winter. Okay, so I'm gonna spin around and show you the view coming into town. Also, do not mind my car. Something is wrong with the transmission or the engine. I don't know what I did. <laughs> All right, so here we are, guys. The view coming into town. So I always liked it because it's like the water tower peeking up, and then on either side of the water tower, there's like a church steeple, which just looks really nice on the eyes. I can't see the church steeple at the second one right now. <laughs> the new sign. It used to say hi, happy, healthy. Now it says simply explore. Okay, so you're coming into town. Go down this hill. And my school is just up here. That's where we were. That school in that park is just up on that bend there. But we're going to go this way because this is the way to my old house and the way out of town that I need to go today. was not here when I lived here and these blocks were not here like you could drive down here I don't know why you'd want to but you could oh, did I lose my car one second this was just like a quick two three minute walk from my house this is just behind the house so there was a field behind my house there was a forest next to my house and then we had the sogging river um where we go fishing and stuff and every year they would hold like a duck race and my dad would make like burgers and hot dogs and hamburgers because he was like the town chef <laughs> pretty much and the duck race would always be down here i'm talking like mid 90s like a long time ago 20 25 years ago that's insane just enjoy some nature sounds So this park, oh, this is funny. <laughs> so me and my girlfriends wanted to go camping one night, like in high school, like grade 12. And we were like, we'll just go to Angus Smith Park <laughs> and we'll pitch a tent. 
And we did it. We literally pitched a tent right here. <laughs> um, and then an OPP came by and was like, like a police officer came by and was like, you can't just camp out in a public park. <laughs> we were like, you can't. <laughs> so we left. <laughs> That's my story. <laughs> Not the brightest. 18 year old, 17 year olds. Um, and then down here, if you keep walking, there's like the bridge. So they've tried to make it like a more of a walking trail, I guess, like an official walking trail. Cause I guess it was always kind of unofficial. So this is the bridge. Okay, we'll just go. We're, we're already pretty much there. Pretty flowers. There's the bridge. This is the bridge where I caught my first fish. And I brought it home. And I'm pretty sure my mom fed it to my cat. Or she threw it out and told me that she fed it to our cat. Not too sure. It was just a little fish. I was here with my brother. I actually remember that. I was little too. I was like seven or eight. There's the river. And there's like more to the trail. That's so cool. Let's go see. I'm loving the sound of this. This sounds so relaxing. It's like a babbling brook. Birds. Okay. It's like really nostalgic being here. <clears throat> it's crazy. It was a wonderful small town to grow up in. I had a really good, fun childhood. Oh, sorry, I saw these on the ground. And I don't know if those are the ones that you eat, but I'm, there are these like little purple flowers and they, you could suck on them and they were sweet. And me and my friends would always eat them. One more view. Oh my God, these red berries, these berries would grow in the forest next to my house and I would make magic potions with them and it was really fun. <laughs> I use my imagination a lot.
That is so crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness. All my friends lived up here in these houses. I had friends that lived in this house. like in the summer there's always a fireworks festival it's always at this park and the fair is like up there and they do like a whole carnival and everything I don't know what you call it fireworks festival who knows I don't live here anymore <laughs> but this slide was my biggest enemy this is the exact slide let's transmute some energy <laughs> while I'm here. Okay, so funny story. I was at this park. I was playing with my friends. I was like maybe eight or nine. I think I was eight. And I was running up the slide and because it's metal, I slid and I fell off it and I hit my mouth off the side, like of the slide and fell. And my tooth was gone. Like My front tooth was completely gone from my mouth. So all the kids that were with me, all my friends, were like looking in the sand for my tooth and no one could find my tooth. And I lived like way down there. And my mom said she could hear me screaming from the park. Um, and my dad's friend was a dentist. So I remember like my dad called his friend and he went and like told us to meet him at his dental office. He opened the office for us. And he told me to put my mouth in like a mug of milk. I don't know why. Um, and then he did an x-ray and he, the, the tooth was, it had bumped back up my gum. Like that just was crazy. <laughs> so then it grew back down eventually, completely crooked and overlapping my other tooth. Um, so I had to get a lot of work done on that tooth and it was just not a fun time. But yeah, like it's a completely dead tooth. They had to dye it because it was turning black at one point. And whenever I see my dentist, he's like, I can't believe this tooth hasn't fallen out. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I'm glad it hasn't. Because <laughs> it looked a little funny with only one front tooth. <laughs> so this is the skate park. Funny story about this. My brother, um, is it open? I think it's open. My brother started this skate park. So yeah, it looked a lot different. A lot different. It's like nothing now. This is so crazy. This is actually so nuts. This town has a completely different energy now. Okay. Well guys, that pretty much concludes my video. Try to get some content because I just haven't been in the mood to film. I've been focusing on some other projects. I'm writing my second book. Um, I'm learning a lot about color therapy and energy work because my sensitivities are there. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this uh, this is it. This is where I'm from. Thank you to everyone who is watching this. I am super rained on. I'm going to drive the two hour drive home 
and listen to some music and just chill out. Okay, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Love and light. Bye guys.